Now, let's check some of more of the settings of uh, Dynamics. So I have this file, you can download it. It's, uh, the link is in the description below. So first of all, I will go to the Dynamics right now and click over here to dock it on the right side. Now you can see that everything is by default uh, there. I have not changed anything. If I go to my sub tools, I have these sub tools. So if I go to this one, which is the top part of the shade. So I want to just cover this shade. So if I will press run simulation, so it will go off. Now, and I have to close my, uh, pause my simulation, control Z to pause the simulation spacebar or uh, escape key on your keyboard. Now I need a collision collider over here. Okay, so what I will do is that I will turn on my collision volume. So once the collision the collider volume is on, the collision volume is on, I will run the simulation and you can see that it kind of falls down over here very quickly just like that. First of all, if you will notice, the size is, uh, is okay, it's not that bad, but issue here is there is no proper firmness over here, which is making the cloth itself a very thin uh, cloth okay not a strong cloth so if i will uh, increase the firmness let's see what happens if i will increase it to five or all the way to six and let's try this so you can see that it stays a bit over there okay and if i uh, undo this let's clean there Okay, and go all the way to one, the firmness, and run. And you can see it is now more firm, Mean like it's more, sorry, it's more uh, like solid instead of a kind of have becoming, you know, more thinner. Increased, it, it will become, the firmness will increase. You will have more wrinkles and those other things. So let me increase a little bit subdivision on this one so i will go to my dynamic subdivision select this okay and let's see how many we have so i will increase a bit here smoothness or just leave it there okay So I will add um, one more subdivision there or no need right now because dynamics already on. So I will try now with the dynamic on and less firmness so we can see the better result here. Now you can see we have a better result. And now if I will uncheck or uh, like sorry, uh, sp uh, escape to stop the simulation and then try with the 10 and now you can see the re result what I mean. Here. Now you can see there are a lot of wrinkles here, a lot of things happening. That is because your uh, cloth has become a more thinner, like a silk, so that there are more uh, kind of a uh, wrinkles. But if you don't want, so better to keep your firmness one. Now one thing you will notice here is that it goes through your uh, you know this object here why because we have a certain number of inflate uh, inflate uh, inflate over here now what does the inflate actually do inflate basically is something that uh, like uh, it's it's like uh, the amount of in, like inflate here in your in the collision volume area what it do is that it will have you to have the ability to increase the volume around your collision object so that when the cloth happens it won't adhere exactly to the surface it can actually uh, be a little bit above so in this case we can try to uh, adjust the, uh, the inflate okay what if i will turn this inflation to two 
okay so it is now evaluating the volume you can see that now after uh, when the the volume is evaluated now if i will try to run the simulation this time you can see that there is a bit simulation there but uh, you know, still we have this issue happening here. So if I will undo this one, okay, and give it a little bit more inflation here, it will start evaluating again. Now you can say the volumes are evaluated again. So now if I will run the simulation, so uh, it's like better. What I can do here is that uh, for whatever it's not been uh, done here like you uh, been moved here so i will go to b c and there is a cloth pull brush so i will take this brush okay increase the size a bit and i will start pulling this down here pulling this one up okay and i can fix this part as well here. and you can see it is there on on it and here we can pull this area upwards so there is no thickness on it so that's why we have this sort of an, uh, like you know effect here but if you will increase thickness so you will not have this uh, issue here so what uh, you can also do is that if i will undo the simulation here okay and give it a thickness here oh one is too much okay 0 0.001 now let's try okay and then you know it's uh it's getting better and better so it's all like totally up to you what kind of a thickness firmness you want to give it to it i suppose if i will make the uh firmness a little bit uh, in the middle okay thickness a little bit more higher and then i will try so it's all about you know uh try and error sort of thing just to see how things are working here and this is how you will get the result actually okay so i think that before the first one was even much more better this quite looks uh, just like that okay it's not that good because what we did is that we increase the firmness and other thing what we can do here is that i can increase the size of this so that also matters okay but I did increase it a lot. It covered the whole thing. But yeah, you know, so many things you can do with it. So let's check another scenario here and see how we can. Uh, do on that one let me open this new file now i have a similar thing here so what i can do at this stage is go to this part okay turn down my collision volume here and it is now merging the volume to do all the setup it's done okay and if I run the simulation now, you can see it goes just like that. Oh, I think the inflate is too much here. Let me move it back. And now try. Okay, so still there is a lot. So maybe 0 0.25. I sometimes found of uh, I have found that 0.25 works a little better. Yeah, good. Okay, now. As this happens here, what I need to do is go to my transpose clue tool, then I try to move it. 
So I have this sort of effect, but a little bit I will move that here. And then go back to the draw here. What here I can else do is that let me close my uh, turn off my uh, polyframe. Oops. Okay. For some reason, it's not zooming, allowing me to zoom in. So here I will make this area a mask. So it will not affect this area. And I will take my cloth tool to move the this part here. And I will mask this. Now I will run the simulation. Okay, and you can see that this is how it will look like because the gravity is maybe too high. Maybe make it two. Okay. And then I can stop there. So this is one way of doing this part here. And let's check this. Again, PCT. Oh, BTC, and then plus I have to give it more subdivision. There is no subdivision in there. One, two, three. Now I will move this down, and you can see that it's giving quite good result here. But what I need to do uh, here is that firmness is on there. Here I will give a little bit subdivision. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, inflation here, maybe three. Okay, and now try. Okay, so better, but it all depends on the your you know this this spikes and also the position of this is not correct. Okay, now what I will do here is that just run the simulation. And stop where you think is better. So, just to give it an idea, okay. Uh, basically, this umbrella part was not opened uh, much uh, further, and its inflation was also very high. So, I will just reduce the inflation, and now it's better, okay. And the position also matters here. So what you can do is that just move it and then try. So that's how you will get this. So now as you know firmness is basically if you want to make your uh, cloth piece more firm less firm like you know like thinner or you know thicker yeah, like it's like a silk versus uh, leather so you can work with the firmness and you will get the result accordingly for example if i will change change it to six for the umbrella right now and if i will uh, apply this so you will see that it is it has become more and more thicker right now Okay, it's not even going down. Let me make it three and then try. 
Okay, this is good. Now, if I was go to this uh, chair thingy, make it four. Okay, oops, because already I applied it, but you got the idea. Okay. So maybe you can reset this and then, you know, reapply that one. So guys, I hope you have understood about uh, the, you know, the, the firmness over here, the inflate over here, the inflate and, you know, firm, uh, just work with them whenever you need it. So guys, uh, if you have enjoyed my video, please click on the like button and I will be uploading new lessons, tutorials, live sessions and full courses. Uh, along with other useful videos so don't forget to click on the bell icon and so you can get uh, all the notifications i will highly appreciate if you will give shout out to my channel uh, on your social media account which will help me to get more subscriber and this will motivate me to create more content for you all so guys thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson Thank you.